Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today we are trading London session. It is the 28th of May 2024, 7am and my pre-session analysis has been given in the free Discord group. Following bullish order flow, we have this demand marked continue um, bullish order flow and price has mitigated the demand. We're now waiting for the liquidity entry model. Um, which is a fake break. I've also added a new liquidity entry model the last three, four weeks. I've just been fo focusing on one liquidity entry model, but I've noticed that there's been another one that is a good one to add. And the whole reason I only use one setup is because it makes it so much more simple. But the whole point of my entry is that I need strong liquidity to enter the market. And this is just another um, version of the liquidity entry model that shows that there's a lot of liquidity building up that we can use and when that comes up when that liquidity model presents itself i'll go for it in a video like i do this one but the look the liquidity model that i've added has not been present we you we look for that on the m15 time frame so basically quick go for it now but if it one well, wait for on one of the models is if price pushes down here and we get a liquidity build up just before the poi and then it mitigates the POI. We use this strong liquidity here to enter the market. So the whole strategy is based on using liquidity to enter the market. And if we get that on the M15 timeframe, then we don't need to wait for the fake break. But because that has not occurred on this specific setup, we're waiting for a fake break. So price mitigated the demand here. There was no liquidity entry model in this leg. We then pushed down and went lower. So our new um, change of character was here. We've had that change of character. This now, this low is now um, the liquidity I need to be swept to enter the market to continue bullish order flow. So as um, price progresses, I will update um, if we get that sweep down below there. And when does this become invalid? If if price does not ever come back down to here. When does this entry model become invalid? It becomes invalid if we get new structure. So if we get a new push above this swing high here and we get a candle closure, new demand's been made and that, that liquidity entry model is an invalid. So um, made that mistake a couple of weeks ago when I was just following the M5 timeframe for my liquidity entry model. I didn't have the swing high and swing low marked. I was just following the M5. We got a new... We got new we got new structure made and I still entered the market, but when I looked on the M15 timeframe, new structure was made and that was invalid. So we need to be careful to make sure that when new structure is made, this is now invalid. So now we have that sweep of liquidity. And this is our liquidation candle. We're gonna be entering on this candle at the moment taking the whole POI because below this POI would uh, mean that the trade would be invalid if it does, um, if this demand fails. Um, we keep it on this candle until the low of this candle breaks. So if this candle closes here, we keep the trade on until it tags us in. But if price breaks this low, then we'll have a new candle to put the entry on. So. Don't enter the market until this candle closes. So as you can see, we have now moved to a new candle. It's broken the previous candles low. So now we're moving the trade to here and we don't enter the market until this candle closes. So this is the new entry. This candle broke this candle's low, so our candle is now our entry candle is now here. Stop loss still below the POI because if price price could still push down, and so now this candle's broke that low. The two trades I currently have on right now are invalid, and now it moves down to this candle. We keep moving it down until it fails the demand. And if price tags us in and then pushes down, it's going to hit stop loss. But 
we just keep moving it down until um, it either fa the demand fails or it tags us in. Okay, price has now tagged me in, and now we just um, went onto the trade. My target is probably going to be this high up here. Um, but, you know, I don't really like to keep targets. We just see what the market is going to give us. So I will just keep monitoring and updating the trade as it progresses. So price is still in our demand area. There's a bit of a battle between supply and demand right now. We've wicked up past the entry a few times. But we could be hitting a stop loss. So the reason I am monitoring. Okay, there we go. Well, I got taken out by a bit of slippage there. Really hope this doesn't push up now. But need to be careful. There you go. So. That's where the trade um, sit stop loss now. I did get taken out a bit earlier because of slippage, but that's all good. The trade was valid. We got the entry for this demand has now failed. And it will, it will, if it's if this can if the fifty minute candle closes below this level, then it's um, definitely failed. Sometimes you might get a push down and then a push up, and then it just sweeps the POI. But that's it. Um, a loss on that trade, and we'll see what price does next and see if there's any other opportunities to get into the market. Cheers, guys. I'll see you in the next trade.